Hello everybody, welcome to our monthly portal broadcast, which we are renaming from now on. We're calling this Live with Lee and the Z's. And the renaming is part of a whole series of adjustments, upgrades, improvements that we're making to the portal. So firstly, if you're new, welcome. Welcome to the portal. Thank you for coming into this community and trying it out. If this is your first month or you've been with us for a few months, thank you for being here. And we really hope that the portal can be a place that supports you and inspires you and uplifts you and educates you. That's the energy of intent that my, me and my team hold around this. Someone on an interview recently asked me, how do I feel about the future? And this feeling came in for me that I've had many, many times over the last couple of years, but I realized I should say it to you too, because I feel this really strongly and I don't fully understand it. But whenever I think about the end of this decade, 2030, I get this sense of light and heart opening that is not just personal, it's not just for me. It's not, okay, well in 2030, I will be in light and have a very open heart. It's not just me. I know the difference when it's just my stuff or when it's something I'm tuning in on for us as a collective. And it's interesting because the Z's have said that between 2025 and 2027, we will start to very evidentially see more seeds of the new world. There will be more inventions, creations, and movements that will have more uh, presence and prominence in the world. They said that 2024 is the year we, we need to kind of go through. It's the fieriest year of the last seven. Don't panic, those of you who went, oh my God, I can't do it. You know, we don't know what that means. We don't know what a fiery energy means. And it doesn't mean it has to look like the worst year in seven. What I mean by fire is it's an alchemical fire. And alchemical fires change things. They transform things. They transform us. So when you've got that alchemical fire moving through you, it's usually the kind of fire that then creates a lot of change in your outside life or changes in your outside life start an alchemical fire off in you, which often begins with grief, often begins with loss, often begins with shock, often begins with wanting to hold on to how things were, but will eventually become this alchemical fire. And the reason I'm sharing that is it, it got me very interested in where we're going and how we're going to get there. And yet, one of the most important things that I have learned over these years is how do I keep my focus small and daily? Because of course, I'm a futurist as well. Part of my wiring is to see future timelines, but that doesn't always help. And it doesn't always help when you're, you know, out in the world and there's all the doom and gloom stories that aren't always coming from reliable sources. They're coming from sources that want us to believe that so that we will only say, oh, okay, yes, then we will accept your way that you think we have to go. There are so many other ways that have either been suppressed or are going to fight harder now to come through. So I say all of that not to get too complicated, but because the energy has been so off the charts in the last months that if you let your mind interpret the amount of chaotic energy you're experiencing as therefore the world is in chaos and this is now just the world. That can be quite alarming and quite destabilizing. But if you can remember that this outer chaos that is moving and inner chaos through each of us is changing us. We can't stay who we were. This world can't stay what it was. And yet, 10 years ago, the beginning of the portal did not look or feel to me the way the portal does today. And yet something core was true. Some of the words I was saying, something in the energy of connection with all of you. Sure, the technology and the level of production that we were able to do has, of course, increased. And I hope <laughs> a mastery of the work has also increased. Um, I, I don't hope. I know that's true. 
because I think for all of us in a decade, our mastery has increased and our awareness gets more evolved all of the time. But I want to remind you of the importance of the daily, the importance of the daily focus. I know for me, if I get too lost in the outside world, if I don't track my own levels of overwhelm, you know, I just keep going and get more and more immersed in the overwhelm of everything going on around me and all the plates spinning and, you know, which person is in crisis next? Because there's always going to be someone right now who's going through a crisis. And I don't take the time to fill up my own tank. And for me, it's coming to moments of quietness. It's coming to moments where it's just me and my energy field. How is it? How do I adjust it? What do I need to do? How am I taking care of my body? What do I need next? What do I need next? Keeping what do I need next as a daily question. And if you say, oh God, well, I don't know what I need next. I'm so overwhelmed. Well, then you need to calm down. If that's your state of being, what you need next is to figure out how to calm down. Well, I haven't got any time. You've got five minutes. You can take five minutes. I can't tell you the amount of times in my past, not so much now because I, I have a schedule set up for myself that gives me the pockets of time I need and I've programmed them in my calendar. But years ago, the toilet cubicle was my escape zone. If I was at some social thing or something where I felt overwhelmed or in a workplace I was working in, if I could just go to the toilet, I didn't really need the toilet, but I would go to the toilet cubicle for five minutes and I'd go there and I'd go, okay, I'm just gonna let that go. Okay, what's going on out in that room? What, why am I so off? Everyone's allowed to take five minutes to themselves. Even the very busy parent or carer, you're allowed five minutes. So at the very least start building in what do I need next? I need just need five minutes to myself. I know I can't take half a day. I know I can't take two hours, but I can take five minutes. And that's a small amount of breath is better than no breathing at all. So what do I need next daily?